live that was out uh, two nights ago. If you go back into Ninja, we have a report up. Uh, we have video of uh, the police, the shooting into the crowd with marker rounds, we believe. give you all a, a real closer view and then people are coming and going off of the freeway through a little hole in the fence up here on the left and so we have hmm, lines of people that are linked arms they're chanting we ain't scared So the people have lined themselves up on the freeway. The police have lined themselves up on the freeway. On the other side of the freeway, we have a smaller amount, maybe 20 people now, 20 to 30 people. Um, some, some members from other little organizations, from, it was just all sprouted up on its own. We have these officers right here. Uh, this is the bike police from St. Paul, I believe. Um, and, and these... Let's go over there. So we're gonna get, we're gonna look at uh, look at some of these. Them hands will come unleashed when that pepper spray comes. See what's going on up they here. gotta rub them eyes. The gotta rub people. the eyes. Another dispersal order, but people are not moving. Um, two, four, six, seven, eight, thirty or so, and they are not moving. They're standing there. For justice for Philando. Up this way, we have a lot of people on the bridge. They've amassed themselves. People are up on the fences. People are everywhere. It's a massive scene out here in St. Paul. Um, I know people are coming from their houses all over. People are coming from different communities across the Twin Cities metro area, and they're coming to this scene because this is the scene, this is a pivotal scene. This is a scene of grief, as you heard. This is a scene of uh, protest, and this is a scene where people are trying to cause a disruption, trying to be heard, trying to seek some justice for Philando Castillo. The, the sun is starting to set. Um, we have, you know, they, they, might, they might wait till the sun sets uh, to really make their move. There's been probably 10 plus dispersal orders that have been given, given, excuse me, and we have, we have the bike police, we have a couple community members speaking to the bike police, um, maybe trying to de-escalate some situation, and we have out here, People still coming on the freeway. So believe it or not, people are still coming onto the freeway. We've seen hundreds of people get off of the freeway, and now we have people coming on the freeway. And so um, there's probably, I would say, 50 to 100 on this bridge alone. There's two helicopters above that have been going around the whole time. Um, there's a sound car behind us that has brought the, the march that started around 7 or so from the governor's mansion and the march went down Lexington Parkway to the entrance ramp of the I-94 entered I-94 just running through state troopers um, there was a protest in St. Paul after Marcus Golden was murdered by St. Paul police last year uh, uh, early, early 2015 I believe and um, people, it was a Reclaim MLK march, and people tried to get on the freeway then, and there was more, it seemed like more people than this, and people did, did not make that extra move. They did not make that extra move to go to the freeway and to take it. And right now, people made that extra move. People are emboldened to make this extra step. They saw it going on across the nation. Uh, people jumped across the freeway. People said they were scared before they jumped. This is scary. This is just crazy. This is dangerous. But they did it. And they jumped over the freeway, stopped the other side of the traffic, took the whole I-94. 
So there was there was a there was a small amount of time where when the crowd was anticipating jumping over and taking the the other side of the freeway where it was a little scary for them, but. The So there was there was a there was a small amount of time where when the crowd was anticipating jumping over and taking the the other side of the freeway where it was a little scary for them but there was an action that that started uh, it was a rally marched over to the Basilica after going through downtown, and that was to disrupt sacred white space, as it was said. And so th these these uh, police officers, I'm sure, just gave them the warning, like, hey, look, you guys are going to get arrested, right? And they're like, yeah, we're going to get arrested. And I'm pretty sure that that's what just transpired. Um, and then they'll probably go back, they'll discuss maybe that they're going to get arrested, or they'll discuss other options with their commanders or whatnot and then they'll figure out uh, the next step. And so, again, this is a crew that's uh, willing to get arrested on this side of the freeway. They don't even want to be on uh, I-94 going east. They want to be on I-94 going west because they want to make that stand. They want to act, they want to be there. They want to get the, to that next level of uh, disobedience. And this is civil disobedience. This is not about the civil disobedience right now. And this is a known tactic very, very known tactic, a long, long-standing tactic. A lot of people have been talking about does it work. Uh, a lot of people have uh, different opinions on what works and what doesn't. Um, you know, there's a lot of discussion over at the governor's mansion in these last few days. From what I've heard from the community, is there's a lot of different people saying different things. And here, if we look at, uh, uh, we have we have this the gentleman in the blue shirt with the very short shorts. I uh, was running over there as I was talking earlier. He's like a police. Uh, I don't know what he would be called, but he gives orders when protests are happening. He tells the police what to do and where to go. And that other blue shirt, I believe, he is working with the police as well. They were talking to those gentlemen. As I said, I think those gentlemen are like de-escalators and community members. They're like, what is going on? Um, and they wanted to come down here. And I'm not going to comment any further on that because I don't know too much about that. But we have the police up here, and we're going to come over to this side and check out what's going on over here because we see all this action going on. On the other side, you saw... It's just the riot police, and the police are just like um, standing there, and they're just doing their thing standing there. So, so right now, discussions are happening with uh, bike police and some of the other police officers. to chant, no justice, no peace, abolish the police. That's the next level over here on this side. It's they're, they're, they're not trying to prosecute the police. They're trying to abolish them. Um, you, hear, you hear calls for people in the city about abolishing the police state as well as just abolishing the police in general. And, um, yeah. So we have, we have uh, one, two... There are some people in this crowd that are asking to be arrested. We're not sure if we're going to accommodate that at this point, but I want it out there that if there are arrests made, it's going to be people who have asked us to arrest them. I'm not sure if we're going to do that. Right now we're letting everybody do their First Amendment free speech stuff. We're uh, talking with group leadership, and that's where we're at. So they have told us that they're going to leave in 15 minutes when the current speaker is done peacefully. And we're going to help them to leave the highway peacefully up to Dale Street. And then so the people that are here, what, what's going to happen with them? It's undetermined at this point in time. There, there's been a negotiation that some of them may want to be arrested. Um, we'll continue that to work that out and figure out what that looks like. And your idea is to not have anybody arrested? Our, idea, I heard you say our idea would be to have no one arrested in this event or any other event. Okay. Um, can you, uh, real quick, how far have you blocked the freeway off? 
the highway is blocked for safety reasons in both directions. I do not have an exact answer how far. Uh, in east and west of us. And so you're saying in 15 minutes this massive group is going to leave and you're going to help that massive group and then everybody else is, you, you are just going to stay here and watch everybody else and try to uh, determine if they're going to get arrested or not? We have been told the whole group will leave in 15 okay. minutes, but we'll, uh, we'll play that by ear. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So you heard from Steve Fraser. He actually called us over to tell everybody that this group of protesters right here wants to be arrested. Um, it was sounding like he didn't want to arrest anybody, and that's what we sort of made sure. He doesn't want to arrest people. Um, they don't. They don't want to do the paperwork. He said earlier, it sounded like 200 people. It sounded bad to arrest, but also they they just don't want to do it. And so they're going to try to figure out a way to um, either talk to this group, uh, wait it out help the other group that's down here, the massive amount of group, get up out of the freeway safely. And so that's what sort of happened right over here. Uh, we still have the situation ongoing on the other side of the freeway. And let's go, uh, let's go down here and talk to some of these people that are risking the rest and see, see what, what's happening down here. This is setting a horrible precedent. They've given them over 10 dispersal orders. They're standing there to be arrested. They're not going to arrest them. And they're giving them all the time they want to block a freeway. That's awesome. This line is getting reinforced by people who are willing to risk arrest. Hey, so what, what, what's going on out here? Why are you out here? I'm out here to support the black people. I'm out here to stop the killing, the killing from the cops. I'm here to stop all that shit. So right now, this group is, threat, is, is willing to risk arrest. Why are you willing to risk arrest right now? Because I believe that's the only way we can win. Show them that we don't care about getting arrested. We just want the killing to stop. So when it comes to Philando Castillo, um, what about that made you come out? What about what? What about what about his murder, his execution, as a lot of people have said? It's showing that it's getting more crazy. It's showing the world get more crazy. We need to stop this so we all can bond together to become one. What do you like to see about what do you like to see come out of this? We have a very powerful moment happening, but what, what do you like to see come out of it in the end? All different types of races. There's Somalians, Africans, whites, Latinos, Caucasians, anybody, all of them out here. All right? It's all lives matter. That's what I like to see. Everybody coming together. To, to say Black Lives Matter? Yes. All right. Hey, thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Black Lives Matter. All right. Do you hear? There's another dispersal order. This, this side is amped up. Okay, so if you are if you are out here and you want to tune into the radio with what's going on, go to 87.7 FM. Yep. Yeah, you want to say anything more about it? Yeah, just if you're close by around the freeway here, uh, it's broadcasting from the speaker truck, so you get to tune in to whatever's going on on the ground. Whoa. All right, thank you. So you, you heard it live. Uh, tune in to 87.7 FM, and you'll hear what's happening on the ground here live. So more cops are coming down the freeway, uh, 
um, towards I-9, I-994 West, towards the group of people. People are amped up on the side. Hey, peeps. Thanks for uh, tuning in, uh, filling in for Kev at MTA. Apologize for the audio. It's coming from the streamer, uh, Unicorn Riots, not my side. Their uh, audio is distorted, um, and it's the only audio up. So enjoy the riots. out here doing our job, you know what I'm saying? Got to stand up for Black Pride, you feel me? Right. They've been taking all of us down in every continent, every state, you feel me, across the continent. And it's about time we stood up for our back, let them know that we're serious, you feel me? Every you time he me, says, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? take a shot it's of tequila, you feel me? It's not, a, it's, not a, it's not a coincidence, it's, this is on purpose, you feel me? They're doing this on purpose, you gotta know. Go ahead, bro. Hey, uh, I speak, uh, I, I hear what he's saying, man. It's, it's Israel out here, and it's all equal out here. That's what it is. Everybody coming together, coming out here for a movement, for a real protest, you know, for a real thing. So, I don't know, she wilding. <laughs> yeah, right here. So, somebody's really mad at the corporate news, and the corporate news is eating it up. I'm not sure. Um, there's more cops coming up behind us than there's going on Yep. We have mass amounts of cops that keep approaching, heading the area. Again, on this side, there's at least 50 people or so that are ready and willing to get arrested. And on the other side of the freeway, yep. On the other side of the freeway is uh, a few hundred. And what was said to the police from them was that they were going to be leaving in 15 or so minutes, and the police would then escort I just got them drunk quick. You feel me? Um, you feel me? They just out there represent. You feel me? Dusty you feel me? So we have up there. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Man? You want to talk? Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming out here, bro. Yeah. So what's going on out here? They're gunning for us. They're killing my people left and right, and they're getting away with it. They're killing. They killed so many black men. He owns them. They're.